Welcome, you're listening to Mike from Trade the Easy Way and what a move on the DAX. So I would look for a pullback to this obvious place of 380 tomorrow. We've got a lot of European data in the first hour of trading and then not much data the rest of the day. So I'm just going to look at the open tomorrow and then see if I can uh, grab a position and uh, manage it for the session. Otherwise I'm just not going to do much. So a nice big pop up. We look as if, I mean, FIB-wise, the obvious place where well, we've got a lot of resistance just ahead at 6.55. Uh, and then we get to FIBs at 8.75. So let's just see what we can do. We may, over the coming weeks, get back up to this, this breakdown area up, up here. But in the meantime, we are going to have to contend with this trend line. So I'll stretch that trend line out. So that's pointing to the fib area. <clears throat> so let's see. I mean if we bump up against this one and get a short signal then I will be all over it. Uh, in the meantime you know, I do not want to short something that uh, is that strong. If you miss the move there will be opportunities. Now whether that's tomorrow or whether that's in the early part of next week it's hard, obviously hard to call, but the, the fact you may have missed some of that, you will hopefully not miss out if you manage the trade and keep an eye on it. Excuse me. Moving on. Uh, this Dow is just shy of 17 and a half and has dropped back 40 points, but we've got a, a couple of hours till the close. So this could still push higher. If you look at this weekly chart, I have resistance from this level here. Uh, in fact, it looks as if we actually even touch. Well, no, we're very close to touching it. So that will put us at about five, somewhere, uh, somewhere around the 500 mark. And a full retest of the underside of this trend line, which is coming in from here, would see us come in perhaps a little higher. In fact, I'll redraw that trend line again. Okay, so we could on the Dow come all the way up to about 17, 750, 17,800. Uh, sorry, 18,000, sorry, on that one. But uh, let's see. And of course, if, if we start closing above 17.5, then we, we could even come and retest those highs. Let's look at Forex. So we've got this um, pound yen, and I am swing trade long in the pound yen, and I have scalped it. I took some off at 570, and just sitting in the position to see if we can push higher. We've got a reversal bar up here at 187 close to 187 and then the fib area is just close just above the 188 it's a strong chart pattern uh, it's a three wave reversal pattern so we've had one two three and we've got must have a trend line coming across the top yeah so we have this trend line that's coming in from this high, 195.90 area, and it crosses through this area here and it picks up on this fib level and that re um, rejection of 188. So we're above that. So any pullback, okay, we'll come back and kiss this trend line, could be a signal to get to 188. Uh, of course, if we roll back inside this, then this could just roll over. But I am anticipating that this is going to see us move into the uh, end of the year. If we look at the same period last year, we had this pattern here in mid-October, pushed up, had a big bar here, and then just one, two, three, four, five ways the upside. 
and then an A, B, C wave to bring us back down again. Okay, well, I don't know why it's just done that, so I'll take that off. Right, so it's a nice chart, and you can see how it's sort of fair. You know, we took a while to get going here, and then we just had a very big impulsive wave. It would be nice to see that we are above the 50 day moving average and above the trend line, so that bodes well. Right, moving on. Okay, finally got this drop in the euro, so this is a great opportunity to get short. And now, if we can just come back and retest the underside of that trend line, that will be a great opportunity to hopefully see us come down a lot further. Interesting how we had this just this uh, 11470 was such a key pivotal level, we had one spike above it, and um, so we look as if we could get a nice move. Let's do a wave count. Um, one, two, three, four. So this is effectively wave five. Um, I would guess that we could come down and, and test this hammer down here ultimately over the coming days. Uh, of course, we're going to have to crash through this trend line support and then see where we go. If I fib it, um, that means we've got parity just down here, just underneath this 127 extension, if I fib that. So let's see. So at the moment, I'm just, I'm just interested in 11230, if we see it. <coughs> That's only a hundred point, hundred and ten point uh, push higher. So uh, that would be nice to get that. It may be we're going to have to settle for one one two, just an eighty point push. In the meantime, this pound US is just inching lower. The problem with the pound US is we are still within this box here. Well, I'm going to draw the bottom of that that bar. So this bar here on the 14th uh, is still um, sort of capturing the um, the range of the the uh, current move in this pound US dollar. So you know, what I'm trying to say is, cut a long story short, it's sideways, and I'm not seeing a setup. Um, this pound yen, I don't like at the moment, but I would re I would I uh, saw you still CAD. You still CAD. I would consider that at the 130 level. In the meantime, I would uh, just hold fire on that. I think we have got some CAD data tomorrow. Let me check. Yeah, the only data we've got before the US opens is uh, CAD inflation, so that could drag this down. Uh, so I'll leave that. Uh, oil is struggling under the pressure of a strong dollar. Looked, yeah, I had a nice push into. I suggested we could come and test 4650, 47. We didn't quite get to 4650. 4650 comes from that 50 EMA up there, and this uh, moving average uh, potential cross up here on the four hour that you can see on this left hand side. Okay, so and gold is struggling as well. So 50 MA on the weekly, um, didn't quite hit the 50% up here when we peaked at 11.92 and currently 11.66. Right, so I will leave it there. I uh, hope that helps. Join me in the room just for the DAX tomorrow and then we will um, take it from there. All right, have a good evening.